All right, for this assignment, we're back into uh, another, I guess you would, it's an endangered animals assignment, but we're going to add color to the coding. So we need to go back to that assignment and copy that code from 3.2.7 and paste it here. So I've already got it pulled up right here like this. You may have to find it wherever you, your code is. But for me, I'm there, so I'm going to just do Control A, which is select all, and then Control C which copies that onto the clipboard and then I can come back into this assignment do the same thing control A but control V and that will put everything on the page for me so what do we see when we reload this well before it was just an empty uh, web page a blank web page but if I reload it now we can see that it's given that specific background color with um, specific text colors for our level one and two headings on this so with this, we're now ready to go in and do a little bit more code for this. So what we're going to start out with is um, we're going to take these extra names for, or I guess they'd be the food names for, in this case, we got pigs, cows, chicken, and fish. Just to make it a little bit more applicable, what we're going to do is um, we're going to make it a class for those specific food names, but I'm going to call it something a little bit different. I'm going to call it a scientific dash name open fancy brackets and close fancy brackets right here and so uh, for our scientific names what we're going to do is give it the attribute for a font style so f-o-n-t dash s-t-y-l-e colon and these ones again you can give it whatever font style you want or whatever font style they want from the assignment but on this one we're going to make it italic I-T-A-L-I-C semicolon okay now of course this is not going to do anything for us because we have not actually assigned that class the scientific name to any of this this information uh, so down here for the actual food name that's what we're going to do we're going to give each of the these list items the class equals quotations and we know it is S-C-I-N sorry S-C-I-E-N T I F I C dash N A M E close quotations. And at least that first one for pigs should show up. So if I open this one up and reload, you can see it's italicized the bacon right there. So we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do this one a little bit different on this one just to save us a little bit of time. I'm going to highlight our class equals scientific name in quotations. I'm going to do control C. And for each of the first list items, I'm just going to paste that in there with control V. So I save and reload, and you can see it's italicized each of those first items. So that's a start for us. We have a scientific name class. And the next one, we're going to do one for whether the food is endangered or threatened. So I'm going to start with the threatened. And I think we only had one of those. I think that's pretend I think I spelled that correctly uh, even if I didn't spell it correctly I just need to make sure that when I put the class into the tag that um, I had the same spelling on that one and this one we're gonna give the color uh, orange red I think that's a good color for this assignment if you go through the color names LMNO orange red yep that looks, that looks like a good color so I can now go into my web page and reload it whoops wrong web page and uh, oh that's right we have not applied the threatened class so kind of I'm gonna come down here into the only one that I put in is threatened for cows everything else is endangered and we're gonna give this one the class CLASS -S equals quotations and this one is threatened for me close quotations and now when I go into this assignment this page you can see after reloading it's changed that into that whatever it was red orange orange red now the other three animals we have as endangered so we're gonna come in here and make a new class for endangered endangered uh, foods and in this case we're gonna whoops wrong button we're gonna give it the color c-o-l-o-r of um, well let's just make it red red makes it looks nice and uh, popping for anyone looking at this page because you know this food we don't want it to be endangered so 
that's not going to do anything for us because we have not assigned that class to these other three. So we need to go now and do that for the endangered. So again, it's a class. CLASS -S equals quotations, and this one is endanger. Oh, I almost forgot the D. Endangered. Close quotations. Okay, now, is this going to work? Let's hope it does. If it doesn't, yeah, there it goes. It worked. If it didn't work, then I would be a little worried about my spelling. But it looks like it worked, so I'm just going to highlight that. Control-C. Come down to my other endangered foods. And do a Control-V action right here for these other two. And now when I go into my web page and reload, you can see the other endangered ones. It looks pretty close to the orange-red, red-orange, whatever it was. But red is a little bit different, and that's okay, too. So this is all we need for this assignment. Um, yeah, that's all we need for this one. So get that done. Again, we added what? We added three classes right here for the scientific name and whether it was threatened or endangered. But again, think about how you would be using this on your own. Uh, at, so right here, our body goes from lines 34 to 64, like 30 lines of code. Um, it, it, think about this. If you wanted to change list items, you could do that, right? Uh, we could do that with just the li tag up here, but uh, are there reasons why we'd want to create other classes? Yeah, like if they were all farm animals, I guess these are all farm, fairly farm animals, except maybe the fish, um, you could make a class for that and uh, apply it to uh, to the, that specific, those specific animals that may be part of a farm class. We're not going to do that, but you could do it on your own. And we see that the code worked, and that's all we really need for this assignment. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. I'll show the code. Maybe this is a little bit easier for you guys. This is the top half. And then this is the bottom half. So you'll want to pause the video if you need it, but that's all we got for this assignment here.